Hi guys, I'm Tom PB and welcome to this series of V tutorials in partnership with Vidarazzi and Parajet in which we aim to help you get the very best out of your new paramotor, ensuring your safety, the longevity and performance of your engine and many hours of flying fun. Naturally, as a new owner or a new pilot, there will be many things you don't know. So throughout this tutorial series, we aim to give you the knowledge base and the confidence to know you're doing all the right things in the right ways. But always be mindful that we're not a direct substitute for a qualified instructor or an approved Viterazzi outlet. So this tutorial, number one, is focused on the importance of knowing and understanding your propeller. Firstly, please always ensure that you use a propeller that is approved by Viterazzi. Using an approved propeller ensures that your engine will run at its maximum potential and avoids any unnecessary damage to the engine. Using an approved propeller will also ensure that you benefit from minimised vibration in flight, stable RPMs, whilst balancing the important elements of motor wear and fuel consumption. Please be aware that all approved propellers have been tested by Viterazzi personally to ensure that you benefit from the very best engine power, reduced noise and engine cooling. If you do decide to use a propeller that isn't approved by Viterazzi, a number of things could potentially happen. Components could fail or seize due to excessive vibration. The engine could overheat and components could fail. The engine may experience excessive noisiness, or you may experience unstable RPMs or excessive fuel consumption. Finally, it's important to understand that you could compromise your warranty by mismatching the propellers or matching the incorrect propeller to reduction ratio. Please also be aware that if you mount the propeller backwards or mismatch the blades, this could invalidate your warranty and cause unnecessary damage to your engine. If you're in any way unsure, please firstly watch this video, but also secondly, seek the advice of a professional instructor or a Viterazzi outlet. Okay, now let's assemble the propeller. Each propeller will be comprised of two blades. It's important to make sure that both sides of the propeller match. Here you can see the outward facing blades, the inner facing blades. It's important to ensure that both blades match. So in this case, we can clearly see the blades do match. In this case, we can see they don't match. Once you've ensured that both blades match correctly, take them and intersect them like this, ensuring that each of the six holes line up directly. Now that we've assembled the propeller, let's look at the other important pieces. First, a propeller spacer. Second, an outer prop plate. And lastly, six bolts with the necessary washers. In many cases, you will mount your propeller directly to the pulley. However, in some situations, you may choose to utilise the propeller spacer. For example, with the Maverick, we recommend you utilise the propeller spacer to ensure the maximum distance between the propeller and cage. But in many parameter configurations, it will be typical to mount the propeller directly to the hub. Please note that when mounting the propeller directly to the hub, the bolts will be shorter. And when utilising the spacer, the bolts will be longer. So now we're going to mount the propeller. In the case of the Maverick, as I mentioned, we're going to utilise the propeller spacer so looking at the propeller spacer, it's important to ensure that this piece will be pointing outwards. So taking the disc, we mount it to the hub and ensure that the six holes match. So now that we've mounted the spacer, take your propeller bolts and ensure that firstly, the spring washer goes on first and secondly, the flat washer. Then take the propeller and the outer propeller disc and place it on the outside of the propeller, ensuring that all of the six holes match up correctly. Then, take your bolt, passing it through the hole, and push through the propeller completely. Repeat that with all six bolts. So now that all six bolts are placed within the propeller, let's fix the propeller to the propeller hub. Take the propeller, and gently, Line all six bolts through the spacer onto the propeller hub. Gently twisting each bolt slowly until you feel a purchase with the propeller hub. Then, taking an Allen key, 
gently begin to tighten the propeller bolts. Always try to ensure that when tightening the propeller bolts, you tighten from opposite directions in order to ensure that you get a correct flat mounting of the propeller. When applying the final tension to your prop bolts, if you do have a torque wrench, please use the settings indicated here. However, if you don't have a torque wrench, don't worry, you can safely and easily tension the bolts using a simple Allen key. In the case of wooden propellers, there can sometimes be variations in the pitch of each blade, and this can be compensated by varying the torque of each individual bolt. If you're unsure about that in any way, please do firstly seek the advice of your instructor or an approved Vitarazzi outlet. In the case of a damaged propeller, in order to ensure your safety, we advise you to replace it immediately, being mindful to ensure the propeller model and size are the same as previously. If the prop does suffer an impact of any kind, it's important to immediately verify that other components of the engine have not been damaged, paying particular attention to the following components. The reduction pulley and bearings, the reduction eccentric, the carter, the carter support and the engine rubber mounts. When starting the engine, always pay strict attention to the position of the propeller in relation to yourself, people around you and any objects as this avoids any unnecessary accident or injury. Always start the engine on your back with the harness fully connected. Never start it on the ground. It's also good practice to double check that the kill switch is working correctly before taking off. Now let's have a summary of cautionary warnings. Always start the engine on your back, paying strict attention to the distance between yourself, people and objects around you. Modifying the engine in any way, regrettably, will invalidate your Viserazzi warranty, so please avoid that at all costs. Before using or testing the engine, always ensure that you check the propeller bolts are correctly tightened. If the propeller is in any way damaged, please avoid using it immediately. Finally, never run the engine without the propeller, as that could cause unnecessary damage to your engine and invalidate your warranty. Now let's talk about some frequently asked questions and problem solving tips. My engine starts well, but the power is low or irregular. This could be firstly, you're using a prop not approved or supported by Viterazzi, or in some way the prop is damaged or misaligned. My engine's overheating. Again, this could mean that you're using an incorrect propeller and it should be replaced immediately. I'm experiencing excessive vibration. This could mean that your propeller is incorrectly assembled is not an approved or supported propeller, or in some way is damaged. In either case, it should be replaced immediately. My engine is excessively noisy. Again, this could mean you're using an unsupported or approved propeller, and it should be replaced immediately. Other questions you may ask yourself are, if I damage my propeller, can I repair it? The answer is potentially yes. If the damage is minor, it is possible to have a propeller repaired by an authorized professional center. However, if you are in any way unsure, or the propeller is damaged in any way, we will typically advise you to replace it immediately to ensure your safety. If the prop suffers an impact, is my engine still safe to use? The answer is not necessarily. If the prop suffers an impact of any kind, it is immediately necessary to have the engine inspected to ensure no other components have become compromised. Regrettably, if you do experience a prop strike of any kind, your Viterazzi warranty will be invalidated. This is because other components of the engine may have been damaged. I want to check if I'm using the correct propeller and how do I do it? Well, the answer is it's easy. On the back of every propeller is an engraved code. If you visit the Viterazzi website, you can download a list of all the appropriate improved codes and match your propeller to that list. I want to know the reduction of my engine and how do I check it? Well, on the back of each pulley is a set of engraved numbers. However, if you are unsure in any way, we would first advise you to contact your Viterazzi outlet for advice. So as we come to a close, we hope you found this first tutorial useful and it's given you a greater knowledge base and confidence. And please don't hesitate to join us in tutorial two, where we'll talk you and walk you through the importance of the correct fuel, oil, and how to mix them appropriately.